Hello everybody and welcome to another very exciting episode of my art vlog. I'm your host Orm Zeppelin and as always I sit here and ramble about art related things or maybe even non art related things because you know what's on my mind right now the fact that my calf is extremely swollen because I took a 45 mile an hour fastball to my leg yesterday in the batting cages at work and that that was that was a time I <laughs> I keeled over. I didn't even have the wherewithal to just get out of the cage because the pitching machine is still firing and I should really be getting out of the cage while I've got balls shooting at me, but I, I keeled over in the opposite direction of the exit, so I kind of just crawled over into the corner and waited for my soul to re-enter my body while I was in <laughs> excruciating agony. So today's run did not go super well. There wasn't a lot of running. There was it was more walking and just kind of hobble running because I don't want to strain it any more than it probably already is. Though I kind of think the run might have helped a bit. I ow, like I patted my leg and that hurt. So yeah, that that's the news. That's what I've been up to. That's how work is going. Actually, work is going really well, other than the fact that I'm getting pelted by balls. So yeah, what am I doing art-wise? Because that's why you guys are all here. You're not here to listen to me talk about getting hit with balls. Maybe you are. I don't know. But what is happening, or what has happened art-wise in the month of August? Let's talk about it. So, things I did. The number one big accomplishment of August is that I finished the latest issue of Brain Fart Comics and it looks absolutely rad. If you've been watching my videos, you saw the video where I talked about it, specifically promoted this issue. So this is, if I can get a little bit closer, maybe you guys can see. I don't know. It looks like it's on plain white paper. It's on, maybe you guys can see if I show the back, kind of. You can kind of see there's some color speckles. It's like a speckly white paper. And I think if you see it in person, it looks cool. If you see it on video, you're like, what is she talking about? <laughs> but if you saw that previous video where I talked about the comics release, you will see that I had several different... Uh, I used different colored paper for the cover. And I think it looks really good. I'm going to show you an example of not one of mine zines, but somebody else's zine, my boy Henry in Brazil. So this right here, this is actually a, this one is a composition, uh, compilation of many people's art pieces. I want to show off more of these zines in the future, but you can see it just looks better when it has the color cover, and I like that a lot. And then I reviewed this in a previous episode, Feral Comics. This one, it is like a actually printed in color cover. That looks really good. So I, I think the white, this looks fine, but I do like it in color. I liked the yellow that I printed on this, is, that I printed it on especially. So I'm super happy with how that's turned out, and I have sold several issues. I have sent some issues off to people I trade with. As somebody who bought that issue, immediately bought the entire backlog, which is like three issues, but still. And they paid me more than they actually cost. It, they He gave me like $30 for those three issues, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> So Brain Fart Comics 4, that is a roaring success. I need to promo that a little more. If I sell like two or three issues, I'm considering that a roaring success at this point. So I'm hoping to have an even more roaring success in the future with that. And Brain Fart Comics 5, that'll come in some eventuality. I don't know when yet, but we'll get to the what I'm doing in the future before long on this episode that is. So what else did I do? I did another, I mentioned this in the previous episode, another 
submission for the Fanzel erotic zine. I used this as an excuse to draw Sylvando from Dragon Quest XI. Maybe I'll put a little bit of the picture on the side if I can, if I can insert images, because you know what else I did this month? In the previous episode, I was bitching and moaning and pissing and groaning about the program Videopad and how I thought it was a free program and it's not and I was very salty. My jimmies were rustled and my almonds were activated, whatever that means, and I was just not happy about the fact that it wasn't just bleedingly obvious that it's a hey you have to pay for it kind of program and I was complaining about it. I went ahead and bought, bought Videopad. I just sucked it up even though I was complaining and it was a good time to buy it because I did get it on sale. I'm pretty sure it is more expensive right now than it was when I got it. So it has already made video editing a lot easier. It is very easy to put text in for some reason what I was using it but what I was using for videos before. Putting text into videos was more of a pain in the ass than it needed to be. And I can also just insert images. If I want to just put some, I don't know, if I want to put a random picture of Sylvando from Dragon Quest XI here, you guys have no, you guys cannot stop me. I'm just going to put all sorts of weird things in my videos now. <laughs> Maybe not, because that might get annoying. But point is, I have a lot more editing capabilities. I think it's going to end up paying for itself at some point in the future. At least I hope so. So yeah, I I did that. And now I'll be able to put the images of what I'm talking about. If I don't have the art immediately in front of me to hold up, I can just stick it in the video. So I'm, I'm happy with that capability because I couldn't do that before. So what, what was I talking about? We got spicy Sylvando. I have a little bit of that oil painting started. Let's take a little field trip to the other side of my room here. Here, I'm gonna rotate my gaming chair. Here's where I am with the oil painting. It's not super far along as you can see. I need to work on it today. I just haven't necessarily been taking enough time to work on it because I don't know sometimes I'm just not in the mood or don't have the energy to paint. Let's adjust a little bit. Are we good? Okay, now we're good. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have the energy to do a lot of painting after a... I'm gonna adjust us again. Now we're good. Okay. <laughs> after a long shift at work, because, I don't know, I, th I think there's a whole... You gotta be in a good zone. You gotta be vibing. You gotta be relaxed. And sometimes I'd just rather sit at my desk and work on something here, which that leads to the other project I'm working on, and it's Dragon Quest. Who would have thought? Absolutely astonishing, except I'm working on a painting of Hendrik. This is watercolor and gouache and ink, and what I want it to look like, my current masterpiece, this right here is the kind of vibe I'm going for, color-wise, style-wise, and this this is my favorite thing I've made so far. So I want to make Hendrik even cooler if that's possible. I might do a whole Dragon Quest XI series, possibly if I have time, because that is my mortal enemy right now is time. <laughs> so yeah, that's happening oil painting, and then I got the tiniest bit of animation done, not a whole lot, and I'm trying to focus on just like really simple stuff, because that's what I need to be working on. I need to be, I, I need to not be trying to make the next hit anime series. I need to be taking a little ball and making the ball bounce around. I need to be doing some like squash and stretch, which is basically what I did. The, the animation's not exciting enough to really upload here. I might if I get a assortment of animation that's interesting enough, but I don't know. Watching the little ball, I had it do like squish down, bounce up, kind of squish when it lands. I, I think you call that squash and stretch. I need to look up what the principles of animation are because I did, I do have it 
I think I have it on my tablet somewhere. I have a visual explanation of what the principles of animation are with like a little animation that explains, hey, idiot, this is what it means. So like that's the kind of thing I need to be learning how to do. I need to do like basic easy stuff before I try to make a whole Ralph Bakshi-esque film. Like the, the Wogglebug movie, I have no idea how I managed to make that happen. There's parts of the movie I should have reanimated before I ever submitted it, submitted it to any animation festivals, which, uh, come to think of it, one of those festivals I was supposed to hear back from them this month about if I got in and I didn't, so maybe they're just too polite to tell me my movie sucked, which is valid. I mean, I've said it before, it is crusty. Crusty is probably the nice way to describe some of what's going on. So that, that animation festival, I'm kind of not expecting anything. There's a second animation festival that I should hear from in October. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not expecting to get into anything. I submitted to these festivals as a joke, goaded by my internet friends to just submit it because why not? And I don't know, you got to do weird things on a whim like that. Somebody said I should submit to Sundance. It's like, I'm not spending $80 or however much it costs to submit to Sundance just to be told, like, what the fuck is this? And why did you think we would want to see it? Like, I'm, I'm submitting to the free festivals. I don't know, maybe next year's Troma Dance, they might be into it. But my goal is I'm going to have something actually good to submit that people are going to look at and be like, oh yeah, this doesn't look like a small child made it. Doesn't sound like the person who did the music was schizophrenic. Yeah, the music might actually be the biggest turnout. That, if you guys can watch it, it's on my channel. It's a little cursed. I will warn you, it's actually very cursed. But you guys can watch it. You should watch it. I spent a long time on that. It is my masterpiece, even though I'm describing it as cursed and crusty. I am still very proud of it. So animation practice, that's going to happen a little more in the future. What other stuff did I get done? I did some digital art practice, did a portrait. Super happy with how it turned out. I'm going to add it into the video. I hope I'm going to do my magic to make it show up. Um, I did, I did a single comic page for a collaborative project, internet joke, very hard to explain. And then I already mentioned Hendrick. Um, is that everything? Is that everything on my list? I think that's everything I got done. I was trying to focus on just mostly brain fart comics, just one or two extra things. And then I did a lot of just little sketching. And I did paint another signboard for work. And I think it looks really good. I did a more... Uh, I, I was a little more pretty with the first one. This one was more just like neat lettering, trying to practice painting as evenly as possible, straight lines. So not super exciting, but I was glad I got the practice because I would like to do more sign painting in the future. Because it's, it's work, and I like painting, and I like getting paid to paint. So, heck yeah, I want to do that. So, I think that is everything that I accomplished in August. So, with September on the way, tomorrow particularly, I have a... Hopefully a small enough list that it's manageable. Because if you've been watching these vlogs for any amount of time, you know that... Sometimes my to-do list is way bigger than it needs to be. If I make my to-do list really small, then I'm going to start adding extra crap in, which I very likely, I, I'm pretty sure that's going to happen this month, but I'm trying to make my to-do list a little more manageable. So what I want to accomplish in September, I want to actually freaking finish writing the script for Whoa Awesome Space Babe number six. I want to get going on that. I, it's just been sitting undone for a while. I want to get to it. So that hopefully will happen. I need to 
take the time to actually do it. I want to work on the oil painting, as you saw, which I'm going to do that today after the video. I'm going to do some freaking oil painting because I need to. And oil paintings, they take a while to dry. I've said it before. If I want this done in time, because I've said it's for a... Um, I'm forgetting my words here. It's for a fundraiser. I'm donating it to a fundraiser. So there is a deadline in which I need it to be done by. And I can't be sitting there waiting for it to be dry. So that needs to happen. I am also going to finish Hendrick. He shouldn't take that much longer. Knock on wood. He, he really should not take that much longer. I've been working on him in very short sessions. So if I just do one long work session, I should get a lot done in that. Um, I want to work on the painted skateboard for Fresno Skateboard Salvage. By that, I mean I need a plan for what I'm painting because we're not even on that stage yet. I'll come up with a plan, maybe start working on it. I'll see. That doesn't have a deadline yet. We're still working on, well, the guy's still working on figuring out when that auction is going to happen. And then finally, I want to do some more animation practice. I want to get good at this. Eventually, you guys are going to see some cool animations on this channel. That's what I'm hoping. In addition to the comic videos, which I want to do more of those also. Definitely zine videos, but I also want to start doing some more comic reviews in general. Just take some comics from my collection that I have like a personal reason I want to talk about it. Like it represents a stage of my artistic journey. I don't know. Just just specific comics that I think would be fun to talk about. Give my perspective on it. Maybe say what I got out of the comic when I read it. I think that would be fun to watch. And also I'm really hoping that I'm gonna get some more subscribers coming through because I have a special plan. I want to do it as the 100 subscriber special. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait that long. I'm at 60. I'm at over 60 right now. I did the 50 subscriber special not that long ago where I reviewed some comics I got at a antique and collectible store and I opened the Batman trading cards, ate the old gum, subsequently got very sick eating the gum. It was not a good two days after that video. I was told by somebody who grew up in the 80s that the Topps trading card gum was pretty much that nasty in the 80s. It was just a brick that snapped and turned to powder in your mouth. So that wasn't even the gum being 32 years old. That is pretty much what the gum tasted like when it was brand new. So I'm not going to be eating any more weird gum, but... I have some trading cards to open that are going to be very, very exciting. I got something that I'm genuinely ex surprised I got it for as good of a price as I did. I'm going to, I'm just going to leave it at that. I did post on, I think I posted on Instagram and on Tumblr, definitely, what the cards I bought were, but... I'm going to be very excited to show those off. So if you're not subscribed, you got to get down there and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Comment random crap so that the algorithm boosts the video. I got to get some more subscribers so you can see what it is I'm talking about. 100 subscribers special, baby. I might not be able to wait that long because I want to open those freaking cards. I have them on my bookshelf unopened because I want to wait for the video and I don't know if it's gonna make it that long. I could film the video and then just wait until I have a hundred subscribers because I yeah I'm excited. I I found some gold basically fully wrapped trading card gold. <laughs> so is that is that it? Is that all I have to talk about today? I think it is. So basically Art stuff, it's still happening, even though I've been working what feels like a lot. But I like my job, so that's okay. And I made a lot of money in tips last month. I just counted all my tips. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head, but it was 
a lot more. I've never had a job where I got tips before, so this is very exciting. I can buy all my work lunches with tips. The tips that I got, like, covered the amount of money I spent on trading cards that day. I, I did not expect to spend that much money on trading cards. Well, I'm, I'll tell the story in the 100 subscriber special, so stay tuned for that. And so on that note, I'm going to call the video good, and I'm going to get some oil painting done. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful time making art and reading comics.